Hey guys, uh, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. What, did it, what I wanted to go over right now, a lot of people are looking, uh, it's Black Friday coming up, there's a lot of specials coming up for uh, portable power stations if you see some of the models here. I've gone over everything that we do sell, uh, some of the other options, and I've compiled three different power stations that I believe based on my real world testing, which I'm gonna give you some good information, some good data for you to use, are the best bang for the buck out there. And they are definitely the best price, but they also offer the most, uh, the best features um, for basically real life expectations for off-grid uh, off or down-grid situations if the grid goes down, okay? So basically what I wanted to talk about, okay? Um, in the face of potential grid failures, it does become imperative uh, to strategically conserve power for essential needs such as what we, what if you don't know already you will learn it's going to be heat and refrigeration are going to be the main considerations specifically at this time of year keeping cool for some people in certain areas of the world um, during the summer months that's definitely going to be a consideration as well too so basically I have tested where we are we're in Canada we're at 51 degrees north latitude so we do get true winters here so I've done testing um, I'm, I'm, I've created real life, real world uh, numbers on what's going to run. I'm going to basically go over uh, the different, the different, uh, the flexibility of having a portable power station such as this, as opposed to a fixed solution. So you have the option of Tesla power walls or just doing your own battery bank or what have you. Uh, something like this in regards to civil unrest adverse weather conditions, or basically if you need to reload quickly because of any of those two or any scenarios like that, um, I'm gonna emphasize the importance of the new lithium iron phosphate batteries, which these have, which is uh, really good. I'm gonna give you three examples of basically the best solar generator solutions catering to varying power needs, because everybody's needs will be different, um, including the Black Friday pricing that I've found on that. I'm also, like I said, I'm gonna illustrate the runtime of uh, each of these three solutions, and I'm going to be specifically talking about the Anchor Powerhouse 767, the EcoFlow Delta Pro here, the Zender V4600, you see it on the bottom right here. Uh, it does have its expansion battery, but I'm going to go over that as well too. Um, what I'm going to use as an example is my home is a 1200 square foot bungalow, not a huge home, but I'm going to give you examples of running a high efficiency furnace in the winter time with that. Uh, with the option of a portable diesel backup power source or heat source, I've got two options here. Um, a traditional fridge freezer, which is your, you know, you've got the, um, the French doors up for up top, the freezer below. And then I'm going to use an example, let's get out of the way, uh, an ice cool portable fridge freezer. Um, what I'm using for illustration purposes, I didn't have the space to put it in here. This is a 60 liter, but I'm gonna use a 90 liter, which is their largest one that they offer um, for that. So I'm gonna give you real world values, how long each of those devices, so heat and refrigeration, how long they're gonna run off of these three examples of power stations. And I'm gonna give you the Black Friday uh, pricing, and in my eyes, which are the best bangs for the buck? And the math the math doesn't lie, you'll, you'll see. Definitely go do your own research. Um, and in the comments, by the way, guys, Feel free, put in the comments. Uh, our goal is moving forward, we want to, it just comes down to time constraints. I'd really like to get to the point where I'm doing once a week, I'm doing videos for you on real life scenarios on portable deployable power, how that's all gonna work uh, based on our testing. So if there's anything you wanna see for um, these types of videos, let us know, put it in the comments, okay? And then I will definitely make sure to start doing, to, I'll start doing videos like that. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is the Anchor Powerhouse right here. Uh, it's a 767. So people with more um, low use, lower use on what they can do. So the bonus to this is I'm going to talk about battery capacities as well too. This is 2048 watt hour battery capacity. Um, it is expandable. You can add an expansion battery doubling it up to just under 4100 watt hours. But the reason I'm, I'm actually talking about this specific one right now, um, so let's start with your, like I was saying, your, your main fridge that you have in your home. This will run your fridge for 12 to 16 hours as an approximation. The reason I'm giving you two numbers, 12 to 16 hours, a lot of you may or may not be aware 
that if your fridge is full of food, it actually takes less energy to keep it chilled. If it actually, um, you have what is called dead air, so there's like open space where there's room for more food to go, it takes more energy to chill that. So this would run my fridge for approximately 16 hours if the fridge was full. If the fridge was, let's say, half or a quarter or a third full, it'll run it for approximately 12 hours. That's why I'm giving you those numbers. So my furnace, and this is something I recommend everybody do as well too. Uh, a friend of mine is an electrician. He put a male 110 plug-in on the furnace. So if the grid ever goes down, natural gas, you may or may not be aware of this, is actually still going to run for four to six months unless the remote natural gas pumping stations, which are outside of the city, are going to be targeted. So those will run because they're run by propane and solar. So those will run for four to six months. You have that as an option. So that'll run my furnace in five degrees Fahrenheit, which is approximately minus 15 Celsius for 15 hours. That's how long this will run. If you got the expansion battery, you can double that. So I'm just giving you run times. Now, let's say that was unreliable and I wanted, we, anytime our customers ask about heating and they talk about electric heat, no, do not go electric heat, okay? We're gonna focus on diesel heaters and there's gonna be specific reasons for that and you'll see that in a few moments. Um, a lot of YouTube influencers are talking about propane heat. What they're not telling you is that propane is wet heat. So even in here, let's say um, I had to rely on propane heat versus anything else. Over time, you would have condensation buildup and condensation actually makes you feel cooler. Propane heat is good for short-term heat. Do not rely on it. And I really wish YouTube influencers would actually put the time and effort into using it for a long period of time to see the condensation that's built up. Do not use propane heat for long-term heat. You're actually going to be uncomfortable. You're going to have moisture buildup. And that can, if you're relying on it for weeks or months, that could actually lead to health issues. Um, diesel heat is going to be your best option. I'm going to go over where to get these. We do not sell these. Uh, so we're not, we're getting nothing out of it. I'm just letting you know we're testing. Um, but I'll let you know where to get these. And I'll give you run times on it as well too. So this same Anchor Powerhouse 767 will run this diesel heater. Uh, for approximately 48 to 60 hours. So you see the difference. My furnace, 15 hours. This, I believe, is 18,000 BTU, so it's, it's quite a bit. This will run it, and I'm going to talk about this diesel heater here afterwards at the end, guys. This is a military-grade diesel heater. More expensive, but I'll give you the comparisons of these. I have two of these as backup, but this is my main go-to, so we'll go over that here at the end here as well. So a diesel heater is going to run for, let's say, approximately 48 to 60 hours. Um, so now regarding if I had an ISCO um, fridge freezer, and we're going to focus on ISCO. We were a Dometic rep. Uh, we've tried other different brands. ISCO, by the way, in my eyes, is the best bang for the buck for what you get. And we don't sell them as well. You can go right on the website, get um, signed up for their email list. And traditionally, once a month, you're getting a discount code for 15, sometimes 30%, but usually 15 to 20% off. So take advantage of that. I know they're running a Black Friday special right now. So a 90 liter fridge freezer is gonna be running for let's say anywhere between 96, was it? Yeah, 96 to 108 hours. Compare that to 12 to 16 hours for your regular fridge. So if the grid goes down, um, that's going to run a lot longer. Now, how I have this plugged in, you can go AC, which is your regular 110 plugins. Just so you know, with a portable power station, more power is drawn going AC compared to DC, which is what you see here, your cigarette lighter plug-in. One of the other reasons that I'm bringing the Anchor, not just because it's the best price, which I'm going to go over in a moment compared to other, uh, uh, to the comp well, not competition, but the other ones available, it's the only one that has two of these, these DC ports. So the bonus to that is I can run two fridge freezers at one time if I chose to. I could wire this, which I've actually done, my diesel heater to run off of one of these DC outputs or um, power sources, as well as have a fridge freezer running at one time. None of these do that. So your Delta Pro, which we're gonna talk about, and the Zendur 4600 doesn't do that. They have other things that are really, uh, really good um, uh, options that they do offer, but they just don't offer that. This is the only one that does that. So regarding price of this, guys, um, what is the date now? So until December 3rd, 
this guy right here is going to be selling for $13.99. We all know what's going on with the supply chain. All of the pricing I'm giving you right now, uh, unfortunately, we're not going to see this pricing again after the new year because of what's going on with the supply chain and world events. I think we all know that. So if you have the ability to purchase this right now, $13.99, I'll have links to this. It'll be on our website uh, where you can purchase this. And by the way, any of the pricing I'm giving for the power stations, we do not charge you a sales tax. There is no, um, there is no uh, shipping cost for U.S. customers. If you're Canadian, our website's set up for um, U.S. pricing just because 90% 90 of our customers are in the U.S. Um, just give us a call, shoot us an email, and I'll put together a package. We do have Black Friday pricing for Canadians as well, too. So again, that's the price for that. Uh, the expansion battery is going to be $12.99, so just under $1,300. Regular price, $14.99, okay? So this is going to be my first pick. And the reason for that, if you compare the Black Friday spread pricing right now, I've got here as an example, this is the EcoFlow Delta II Max. Or there's the Blue Eddy um, AC200 Max. I think they have the L now. They're $100 more than this. They're $14.99 is what they're selling for. I think this guy's $14.98, whatever, dollar difference, $99 difference. Um, this, for the price, to me, is the best bang for the buck, and it offers the most fit features right now. This is the best one to go with. Not only that, it has a pull-out handle. I can't really pull it out here. And it has two wheels, so you can. it's easy to move. It's 67 pounds. So it makes it, uh, for those that are maybe with metal, medical conditions and they can't lift a lot, this makes it a lot easier than the EcoFlow Delta II Max or the comparable Blue Eddy. I'm not even going to talk, by the way, guys. We're not even going to, um, like, I'll bring it up, but we're not going to compare it to Jackery, to um, Pecron, to Goal Zero, any of those. And the reason being... They don't offer the same uh, battery chemistry with all of them. Like this, this uses all three of these use a lithium iron phosphate batteries. The others do not. And the reason that's important, okay, I'll give you real life scenario. Let's say you had to use any of these three products right here, 365 days out of the year because the world really goes to pot. Hopefully not, but let's, we gotta be realistic. You would get out of all three of these, almost 10 years use. Uh, discharging and then recharging every day for 365 days before the batteries degrade to 80%. So that means these have excellent, excellent life cycles. Any of the, the like the Jackery's, the Pecron's, the Gold Zero's that have the older technology batteries, you're looking at 500, 800, uh, I think Pecron's 2,000 life cycles. It just, it, it doesn't compare. Um, I, I, like, I wouldn't bet my life on that. Plus, they don't offer a lot of the same a lot of the same features of these and they have really wonky solar charging um, uh, capabilities and they do that specifically because they want you to buy their solar panels so you're really limited to what you can charge from solar which we would have to rely on as well too if we needed to okay so the other one I'm going to talk about that's this guy right here okay EcoFlow Delta Pro so 2040 watt hour battery capacity 3600 watt hour battery capacity you can combine two additional battery packs to this so this is more expandable each with another 3600 watt hours you can even combine a second ecoflow delta pro with two more expansion batteries so that's good so you would actually have a total of 21,600 watt hours of battery capacity if you chose to so just showing the expandability um, again comparing to a fixed solution a tesla power wall you're looking at 13,500 watt hours so give you give you a comparison with these uh, now, runtime for my fridge in my kitchen. You're going to be 24 to 36 hours is how long that's going to run for. Compared to this guy here, which is going to be 12 to 16 hours. So just to give you a comparison there. So now a furnace, again, 5 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 15 Celsius in the wintertime. You're going to be approximately 26 hours for this EcoFlow Delta Pro to run it. Now, let's, let's talk about... Um, uh, what would it be? Diesel heater. So this guy right here. And again, we're going to come back to the planer. So the diesel heater is going to run for 84 to 105 hours before you're going to have to re, re, um, recharge it from solar or what have you. Uh, an ice cold fridge freezer, again, 90 liter. Um, so bigger than this guy right here. And I have done testing on all of these. These are real world values based on what I've tested on my, in my own home. 
So that's going to run for 168 to 189 hours. Uh, one of the bonuses of this guy here, over here, which I don't know if you can necessarily rely on in a grid down situation, but it's a bonus if there isn't. Um, you can charge this with an optional adapter, which I think is about $100, from your electric vehicle charging station. So that's a bonus. Um, all three of these, by the way, and I failed to mention about the Anchor, all three have the 30 amp plug, which is your RV plunk, they plug, they have that. Um, this also has the pull-out handle on the bottom, has the two rear wheels. It is 100 pounds, so it's a bit heavier, but it's a larger battery pack as well. So that'll allow you to move that around as well. So now the current special until November 30th, so there's different dates for each of these specials, is 2,499. That's regular 3,000, just 3,700, uh, 3,699 is what it's normally. Um, so this is a good price as well too. However, you're going to see, I'm going to focus on the Zendur here in a moment, the pricing and all of that as well too. So if you want something for high usage, the Zendur 4600 is 4,608, so let's just call it 4,600 watt hour battery capacity. So it's a thousand more than the EcoFlow Delta Pro. So this is it right here. So now let's go over the expandability with this. This guy, you can have four of the expansion batteries in total. So then that would be five times in total the battery capacity. You can add an additional head unit, so an additional 4600 with four batteries. Um, so that would be a total of just over 46,000 watt hour battery capacity. That's well over double what the EcoFlow offers and obviously much more than the Anchor. So if you're looking for expandability, and something you can take with you if something happens with civil unrest or weather conditions. This one is, and I'll let you know pricing at the end and its capabilities to me, this is the best bang for the buck out there. Um, second best bang for the buck for what it offers is gonna be the Anchor. Third is gonna be the EcoFlow. So just based on Black Friday pricing and what they can all do. So regarding the Zendur, so this will, so just this without the expansion battery, will run my fridge in my home for 31 to 46 hours, as an example. So um, my furnace at five degrees Fahrenheit or minus 15 Celsius, it's gonna run it for, let's say, 33 hours is what it would be. Um, now, if I'm running a diesel heater, like this guy right here, you'd be looking at 108 to 135 hours. Is that what that's gonna run just off of this before it has to be recharged from solar? So you can see why I keep talking about the diesel heater for secondary, um, and I'll talk about fuel consumption as well too in a little bit, just so you guys know. Um, so this is why I keep focusing on diesel heaters for secondary backup um, heat. If you don't have a wood stove, or even if you do, we, we have a high efficiency wood burning insert, but we're in Canada, so we have minus 40, I think it's the same in Fahrenheit, minus 40, we can have that in the winter time. So, I would like this as a secondary backup for my home as well, too, as a just-in-case. So now a 90-liter fridge freezer, you're looking at 215 to 242 hours is what it'll run for. So one of these, but a 90-liter, which is pretty impressive. So now the other thing I was mentioning, like the other two, this does have... So here are the ports right here. Sorry, I have no fingernails. There we go. There we go. So this does have the 30 amp. Uh, plug as well right there. So all three of those have as an option, which it's a bonus to have if you want to charge your trailer, RV, what have you. Um, and you can also charge this one from an electric vehicle charging station, which if the grid goes down, doesn't matter, but right now it's a nice to have with that. So weight on this is going to be a little bit different, but you're looking at a thousand watt hour more than the Delta Pro. So this one here, the Zendur, is going to be 121 pounds. It does have the pull-out handles. It has four wheels as opposed to two. All three of these have apps where you can, you know, from your smartphone, you can monitor everything. The difference is this one actually has, and I've never used the feature, it has motorized wheels. So you can actually, from the app, make it move on its own like a little robot. So maybe some people will find value in that. I just move it around by hand. Okay, so pricing, and that's what I was saying, Black Friday pricing, this is the best bang for the buck. This will be on our website on the 24th of this month. It only goes for three days till the 27th. Pricing on this is $2,699. This is the best 
priced power station on the internet right now for what it offers for grid down situation with expandability with the type of battery it uses this is by far the best price out there zender has never offered this price before by the way these are my personal ones i've been testing for over a year i'm impressed with them i would not offer these if i did not think they worked well they do work very well just like the delta pro just like the anchor so regular price on these are four thousand four hundred and ninety nine so again, I'm going to have dates, I'm going to have pricing, all of that. So the expansion battery is going to be $2,399, regular $3,599. They give an additional discount, and all of this is going to be right on our website where you can order from, guys. An additional discount if you buy an expansion battery with the head unit, the $4,600. Three, another $300 off. So you can buy both together for $4,799. So that's a total of... 4,600 watt hour times two. So what is that? You're looking at 9,200 watt hour. You're almost the size of a Tesla Powerwall with two of these. With three of them, you're larger than a Tesla Powerwall. And you're actually, if you do the math, you're actually less expensive. But you get an all-in-one solution with inverter, with solar charging capabilities, charging from your vehicle, charging from the wall, a gas generator if you needed to, but you can take it with you. That's the other thing. Um, so what else to talk about here? Oh, I was going to talk about the diesel heaters. Um, regarding the diesel heaters, so this one you can buy off of Amazon. We don't sell these. This one you're looking at Canadian, I, I'm, I'm used to you, uh, Canadian pricing. So US pricing, you're probably $125, $175 US, then up to $200 Canadian. There's just two little things you got to do. You got to rewire your where it plugs in i just added a cigarette lighter plug in real easy to do just red black and red wire you don't need to be an electrician for that so that's easy to do if you want um the run times for the diesel heaters so basically the fuel consumption for diesel is 0.15 to half a liter per hour depending on your heat setting on this and how cold it is so in general this is going to run for anywhere between five to ten hours uh, before it actually has to be full. Now, sh I will put it in the video. I, I'm forgetting the size. I'm thinking it's like a gallon, maybe, but I'll verify the, the fuel tank size and I'll have it in the video, okay, guys? So it gives you a rough idea how long that's going to run. Now, like I was saying, Amazon is where you can get these. Um, and I did mention that you can plug this in. Now, if you're wanting military grade, I like having these. It's a very inexpensive option. Would I rely, we're, we're close to the mountains. Would I rely on these if, if I'm at elevation? No. They use inexpensive Chinese components. Um, for basic use at low elevation areas, this will work well. There is a chance because of the inexpensive components, it can gum up a little bit, meaning carbon buildup. So then the internal components aren't working as well and you'll have exhaust and you're not getting the full heat. I've experienced that a couple times while camping the planer. The reason I really like this one, military grade. Several militaries around the world use this. I use it, I've compared both. It works beautifully at elevations because they use very, they use expensive parts, components. There's a reason it's it's a higher price. These are manufactured in Canada, in Vancouver. We are a dealer. I, I'm sorry, I, we haven't had time to add them to our website. If you do want information, contact us on and we will. I can talk about it further. Now the difference between the two is also going to be your fuel consumption and your electricity consumption. This uses about a third less fuel and about a third less electricity. So all of the numbers I gave you for the inexpensive Chinese heater, which are phenomenal, are even better with this guy. So if the grid goes down and we have to rely on portable power stations like these, the thing that everybody's going to learn if they haven't figured it out already we're going to lose a bunch of comforts. It's just what it's going to come down to. We're going to lose a ton of comforts. The main goal, things that we're going to rely on are refrigeration and heat for this time of year. Cooling, well, you can't run an AC unit off of any of these because AC units are they're, they're, they're power pigs. So unfortunately, cooling, unless it's just a fan, that's all you're going to be able to do. Or if you have something small like that new EcoFlow um, Wave 2, that doesn't consume a lot of power. You could use that and just do one room or something. Um, so yeah, so as an example, I've used this 
same conditions and I've gotten three evenings out of this as opposed to one evening based on fuel consumption and also battery usage. The only difference being is, and I'll just move over here, because this has a higher power draw at startup for the glow plug, which shows again the, the better uh, components that it's using, you would have to use, I use a lithium battery. So I just connect directly to the battery terminals and I just use that. But again, I can charge that from any of these power stations as well too. You can use an AGM battery as well. I just, I use lithium because of the longer run times, times we go out. Now regarding um, Iceco fridge freezers, these guys here, again, we don't sell them. So I'm just letting you know what I've tested, what works well. Go to their website. You can order these uh, directly from there. But what I would recommend is put your email in, get on the email list, get that discount code and you'll get a better price. Right now they are running for Black Friday. I'm not sure what it is. I think their web website said up to 30%, so not all items, but you can double check. Now for anybody looking for portable, deployable solar, um, this is what we offer. So here's an example. That's our 220 watt solar blanket. This is our 300 watt solar blanket. The reason we designed these, um, to be blunt, I was sick and tired of what was on the market. These, as you can see, are portable, deployable, which with world events right now work really well on what they offer on if we have to move because of social unrest, because of, you know, a grid down situation, uh, adverse weather conditions, what have you. Um, we do offer, these will work better than pretty much anything else on the market, excluding power film, and that's what the military uses. Power film is double the price of what we offer and four times the physical size. Uh, we are offering a discount code on these as well too. So if you are interested, it will be 10% off for Black Friday. Uh, no US sales tax as well too for that. So that'll be any of our solar blanket products or our Faraday bags. So anybody concerned about world events, what's going on with Russia, potentially Iran, um, you know, everything around the world. Um, we have Faraday bags that this Delta Pro is gonna fit in beautifully. Two of the anchors are gonna fit in beautifully. This 300 watt solar blanket, you can fit 12 of these in one of our Faraday bags. That's 3,600 watt hour, sorry, 3,600 watts, I'm talking about these guys, 3,600 watts of solar that if there was an EMP would be safe. And if nobody else has power, you can use then that 3,600 watts to power multiple solar generators to provide power for yourself, your family, and your friends. Um, I believe I've gone over everything. Like I said, feel free, go online, compare the prices from all the manufacturers. The best bang for the buck for the low use one is gonna be this, the Anchor Powerhouse 767, 1,399. Second best, I'm going right to the big guy right here, the Zendur, because this is $2,699. Third best is gonna be uh, the Delta Pro, and that's this guy right here. The Delta Pro, is $2,499. This one's $200 more, and you get a thousand watt hour more. You get more expandability. This is the way I would go. You will not, after this, you'll not see this price again. This one is only on sale for three days. Again, links will be there. The links will be activated on the 24th of this month on our website, okay? Where you can buy this. All of these, no US sales tax, no shipping cost for the lower 48 states, okay? Canadian customers, please contact us. We'll put together a package for you. Uh, other than that, uh, guys, have a great rest of your day. Just wanted to give you this pricing. Um, any questions, comments, uh, let us know. Uh, like I said, uh, put in the comments section or even shoot us an email. What are you looking for? For what type of information would you like from us? Our goal is once a week time, as long as we have the time for it, is once a week to provide a video with really like good related content on how to utilize portable deployable solar. Okay guys, I'm gonna let you go. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye then.